and welcome back to part two of our Outer Space Gamers podcast. In this episode, we're going to be going over my extended thoughts on Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. So with that, let's dive right in. We're going to go to the next topic now, which is going to be kind of a uh, extension of my review, and I know the review is pretty lengthy, but trust me, it's good if you watch it. It's pretty cheesy, it's awesome, but enough with the... Uh, fan base around that video that I have for it. So, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, how how did you like it? Because you, you didn't play the game, I played the game. How did you like watching the gameplay on it? What, did, what, what would you say? I think the, you know, in referencing back to the, the game review itself, I would say that the um, the gameplay seemed fun. It's, it, it reminded me of like Donkey Kong Country that I talked about for the Game Boy Color, you know, and so the gameplay seemed obviously like more advanced, you know, with the evolution of game systems itself, but you know, it seemed fun, you know, and obviously like, you know, as I talked to my piece of it, you know, the visuals were stunning or like really cool immersive backgrounds, you know, so not only something it seemed fun to play, but also seemed fun to watch and enjoyable yeah. to watch and experience. Quick story which is the reason why I actually learned about Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. This was before, I think it was before I was vividly watching like YouTube every day. Like I, <laughs> I had no idea about any game releases uh, prior to this. And I was in Target with my girlfriend and we had just gone back from a basketball game and I had been running the clock and I got paid like 75 bucks to run the clock. Yeah, I know a lot of money and um, <laughs> And I was like, oh, I have this money and I want to buy a new game. And I had just gotten the Wii U. And the Wii U's launch was terrible. And I had Super Mario Bros. U. And I had Sonic All-Stars uh, Racing Transform, which is a, which was the better of the two games. I liked the Sonic game, surprisingly. But I went to the Target and they had one of those play things, you know, like where you could test out the Wii U and stuff and play the new games coming up. And they had Game of Wario on there, they had the Mario Bros. U, they had Nintendo Land, I think they had Pikmin 3, and I ended up getting Pikmin 3 earlier before this game, and I'd be in it like really quickly. And then they had Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, and I played through the first level, which was Mangrove Island, and the colors were just in my face, and I was like, holy crap, this, this game looks really good, and I had Donkey Kong Country Returns. And that game was freaking hard. I've n never been on the Wii, which was the original platform I was released on. I got the 3DS uh, remake of it, and I was able to beat it, and that was challenging. And so, but just the color like brought me into the game, and I wanted to play more of it. And I was like, if they can do this on the first level, I want to know what they can do with the other levels and the other worlds. And when I got the game, like I played through it so quickly, so quickly, and with the review, I got I got time to you know sit back, kind of take my time through. I had about seven hours of gameplay since I, knew, I already knew how to control. I didn't like I made I emphasized in the review that controlling him takes some time if you're not used to platformers, and it's his movement it is very unique, and so you you'll be dying a lot. But like since I've already played before, it was kind of easier for the review. But I was able to sit back and really look at the backgrounds this time instead of worrying about dying and it was it's just really special it's something that the donkey kong country series has been known for and like they were they had straight so far from the path with the, the the congo drums one which i didn't understand why they made that one i mean i played it once i also tried playing guitar hero with it, it just never worked as a controller and they made a few Game Boy games that I actually enjoyed playing that were kind of spin-offs, but it's like we didn't see anything to the Wii. And the Wii was really hard in the controller. I disliked the Wii controller not because of the motion, just because of like how I had to hold it with that game. And then the, the Wii U control scheme with it worked perfectly. It felt like I was playing Super Nintendo game. And that's what really, really felt good about the game. And that's why I felt like it deserved a more lengthy review. Because I feel like the game... Like, it got great scores. Like, I looked at the IGN score, I think it was like an 8.8, and like some other games were like a 9 and stuff, but like, altogether, the game as a whole, it offers so much, and just, it, like, with the Wii U, which didn't sell well, it's like 13.1 million units worldwide. And I feel like this game, just, like, really, really well done by all, all the people in it, and or, like, the uh, retro studios and stuff, and it just, like, if they come out with a new one, I, I think it should do much better because the last game was great. 
Well, kind of talking about next generation game systems and everything, you know, I know our review for uh, the Wii U, you know, Dr. Kong, uh, Tropical Freeze, with a freeze, um, but one or yeah, I can't speak now. One, you know, it's going, you know, pretty well, and you know, definitely, as Joe said, you know, subscribe to that, you know, subscribe uh, to watch our channel, the watch the video. You know, it's been getting good reviews. Uh, the like top thing that we keep hearing from people that we know is like that, you know, oh, well, 30 minutes. Like I don't know if I want to give 30 minutes. They watch it, and then they're like, that was it. Like that was all, you know, and so like the length of time, you know, I think goes by fast. It's utilized pretty well. But yeah, please definitely share comments and everything. But kind of like the next generation. Thanks, Space Cadets, for tuning in to the second part of our first ever podcast with Octopus's extended thoughts on our most recent video game review and our first ever on Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Uh, if you haven't checked out the first part of the podcast on 2001 A Space Odyssey, please see that above. Coming up for our third part will be Octopus's review and thoughts on the Nintendo Switch. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel and to our videos. Let us know what you want for future podcasts. Thanks very much, Space Cadets. Over and out.